r slash ask reddit. Cops of reddit, what's the worst thing you've seen a fellow officer do, if you've had to, how do you feel about having to work with dirty or unprofessional cops? Worst I ever saw, was a guy driving a government vehicle off duty, and in plain clothes, slugging a beer, and walking into a movie theater. Slugged another one, when he came out, tossed the empty in the passenger seat, and drove off. Blew him into internal affairs. I don't tolerate corruption or dirty cops. Not reporting it could lose me my job, and their actions not only make my agency look bad, but also taint public trust, which breeds animosity, which makes my job harder. Fuck em. They're dirty. There are 100 guys waiting for their shot right behind them. No breaks for minor things either. Cops should be held to a higher standard, not a lower one. Former cop here. The worst thing I have personally witnessed was a police honor guard member carrying the casket of his partner that he had murdered. The shooter was off duty that night and was busy burglarizing a local business when his partner caught him in the act. From what we understand, shooter wanted partner to cover it up and not say anything. After his partner refused, shooter distracted partner by pointing at something, and when partner turned to look shooter shot him in the back of the head with his service 9mm. The pistol he killed him with was literally bumping the casket as he carried him to his grave. Witnessed another officer make comments to a bad guy that strongly suggested she was intimately involved with him. Asked a few other female officers what they thought, and the response was universally, write a report. Went to a trusted supervisor, told him what was up. I wrote a confidential report. He wrote a confidential report. We took them to command. She left the department voluntarily a few months later. I was a rookie at the time, but, evidently, there were suspicions about her for quite a while. There seems to be a widespread belief that officers cover for one another, and I think it is a misconception. Now, listen, I will help a good officer in a bad spot, absolutely. That help must be for an otherwise good officer, and it must meet three requirements, it cannot be one, illegal, two, immoral or three, unethical. We are all human. We make mistakes. If it is an honest mistake or a stupid mistake, I will do what I can within the confines of the rules, to soften the blow to a good cop's career. You said something stupid, because you thought it was funny, real scenario? Okay, you need to go apologize right now. They're still upset? I will go talk to them explain that you screwed up, but you're genuinely sorry. They're still upset? Listen, officer Moran, UF asterisk CKED up, dude. Report yourself. Reporting yourself is always the best course of action. Everyone knows mistakes happen. Show that you recognize it and take responsibility. Cover-ups, to the best of my knowledge, are not a thing where I work. If someone is dirty they've betrayed their oath, they've betrayed me, and they've betrayed all my brothers and sisters in blue. They're worse than the bad guys and they have nothing coming from me or anyone else I know. They do exist, and, for the most part, they're pariahs. They can't even get a cup of coffee. Everyone sees the signs, knows the excuses, and won't touch them with a 10 foot pole. They're riding out their time until IU catches up with them, and IU will catch up with them. Federal correctional officer here. We had a female officer who was sleeping with 10 or more inmates in the prison. Had an officer get bribed into bringing cigarettes into the prison for about $300 a pack. Had a female co get pregnant from an inmate. Had a male co get caught giving an inmate a BJ in the fridge in food service. The list goes on with stupid shit that staff will end up doing for inmates for such little money. You have people throwing away their job that pays dollar sign 50,000 plus a year for a few hundred dollars. It just comes down to people being weak minded and greedy. For some reason we always have dirty staff around and it is hard to pick out the idiots. My father is a cop. This is some of the shit he deals with in the street. Johns County Sheriff's Office in Florida, I'm calling them out. Deputy known for beating girlfriends and being a drunk has multiple reports, never punished for several years because he is a fishing friend of the sheriff, despite witnesses seeing him abuse women. Deputy drives into the ghetto, claims people attacked his car, a lie, and got his friends on the SWAT team to come in and shoot pepper balls at people. This resulted in a riot. The victim sued and got a settlement. High ranking staff acting very flirtatious and inappropriately with female staff. 
girlfriend of deputy Jeremy Banks found dead with multiple gunshots to the face. She was leaving him that night and told family to expect her. Locals claimed they heard him screaming at her before the gunshots. However the response deputies who were friends of Banks moved and even stole evidence from the scene. This was declared a suicide despite the fact that she was shot multiple times in the face and that she would have been holding the weapon at a nearly impossible angle to pull the trigger and that this deputy has been rumored to be an abuser. Also, as crime scene analyst drive, Jerry finally pointed out their blood splattered on her face, arms, and hands, yet none on the weapon, as there would have been if she killed herself. The same analyst also pointed out that none of Banks' DNA was on the weapon, which he had touched and used during work that day, leading many to believe that the weapon was wiped down before it was submitted for analyzation. Another little detail is that weapon was placed in the wrong hand. It was declared that the Florida Department of Law Enforcement believes that this was a murder and has called for state attorney Brad King to take it to grand jury, but he refuses. Governor. Scott, a living piece of human shit, and his investigators won't look into anything further, or prosecute or even discuss the case. Judges, I won't say which judge, I don't know if it's public or not, high school aged son caught buying large quantities of drugs while in school from an organized crime, ringing Jacksonville for sale on the street. Not only were no charges brought, but the school allowed him to graduate, despite the school saying no, they were convinced to let him. The list goes on and on and on about the shit that happens at that place. Deputies abandoning their cars in the middle of a shift to go have sex with their mistresses, a black man being held in prison for over a year without even seeing the inside of a courtroom, evidence such as drugs and money going missing, the sheriff being investigated by the FBI for an unknown reason, etc. It's a disaster. Ex-cop in Australia here. It's far more common that you think, but far less extreme than you would imagine. For instance attending an R at a petrol station, I've seen cops just grab a chocolate milk and just walk out, when they leave knowing the attendant will say nothing cause, well, he's a cop. Plenty of times I knew evidence didn't make it back or get reported, cash, drugs, electronic items. If you ever pointed a finger it would come back to bite you though are left because of the attitude in the NSW police force to minor corruption. Basically, you shut the fuck up, or enjoying working transport, train cop. I was a co for a short time. At the end of our training, we went to the state capital as a group, to take our certification exam. We hung out in a group drinking with our instructors, who were also corrections officers. At the end of the night, there were just a few of us still in the hotel bar area, a male instructor, three male trainees, including myself, and a female trainee. At that point, one of our instructors started to grope one of the female trainees and whisper things to her. She was super uncomfortable, and the rest of the trainees, and I made an excuse that we needed to leave, taking her with us. The next day, I came forward and told another instructor. With the dirty instructor's actions seeming so over the top, and the presence of two other witnesses besides myself, I thought this guy would easily get fired. During the investigation, I was brought into a room with four high-level officers within my organization. They grilled me like I was the one that committed the crime and treated me like a liar that was just trying to get this guy in trouble. I had a positive view of him before the event in question. Eventually, I found out that the other two male witnesses refused to give any information about what happened or were intimidated to keep quiet. The victim was apparently treated way worse than I was and she left the job not too long after that. I stayed on the job for a few months for a couple of different reasons. The dirtbag retained his position and as far as I know, is still in an instructor role. I quit 18 months ago for a job that pays real money. I worked in suburban America for a low crime city. I backed another guy on a call, don't remember what it was initially for. The guy we contacted at his apartment was Latino, and I speak Spanish, I'm a witty, so I translated for the other cop. He got the info he needed, and then started telling me to ask him a bunch of legal status stuff. I went along with it for a minute or two until the cop started trying to get me to sling hate about illegals and crap like that. I changed from more or less verbatim translation to he says this, and he says that. And I started to leave a bunch of his rhetoric out. 
when he, the cop, asked if I had told him everything he said I replied that what he was saying was bullshit and I wasn't going to sling hate. He started to rebut and I said we are done here right and walked off. The other cop was pissed at me and tried to talk to me about it later in the shift. I told him I didn't feel the same way about immigration and that I wasn't going to be his mouthpiece for that type of stuff and that if he wasn't happy about it, he should learn Spanish so he could tell them himself. He was pretty pissed at me. I later talked to my sergeant about it because I was still pretty new and the other cop got pulled into the office for a chat. Pretty tame I know, but we were a pretty small city and apartment. Didn't have a ton of crazy stuff going on. For perspective we averaged 2 homicides per year over the last 10 and socio-economically the city was upper middle with pockets of upper. <laughs> See Nalit. I work for a larger department that has had a very well publicized problem with corruption and bad behavior of officers. We have an awful reputation in the area as a result of stupid things officers have done, be it corruption, idiotic behavior, or whatever. Couple examples. Had our ex-chief routinely have officers called to his residence for large parties he would throw. These would normally involve a fair amount of underage people, booze and a lot of pills. It was common for the officers that responded to the call to suddenly be promoted or end up on a specialty unit of their choosing shortly afterwards. Preferential treatment for certain officers, see above, or citizens due to their influence with command staff. At the same time, punishment of officers who spoke out against the chief or his lackeys, specifically a supervisor who had his schedule changed routinely, so he was always working opposite his spouse in an effort to ruin their marriage. A personal example, a former chief who used his influence to trick me into dropping a felony case that involved charges in two jurisdictions stemming from the same incident. Chief contacts me saying the prosecutor for the other jurisdiction has worked out a deal whereby we drop our charges, and he pleads to the more serious charge there. Later found out he sold that same line to the other jurisdiction, so the defendant got off scot-free. And one awful one, SRO, school resource officer, who was caught with an underage prostitute at a sleazy motel off duty in his patrol car. When cornered he fled the scene. So we had county deputies in pursuit of a city officer in a marked patrol vehicle. Stuff like this is why I'm trying to get out of this career field. Both my dad and uncle were firefighters in small cities from about 78 to 06 ish and so dealt with cops a fair share and have lots of crooked stories. Most of them involved small abuses of power, racism, sexism, covering for each other with little lies, and lots and lots of depression and alcoholism, likely from the job, which led to doers and assaults, never prosecuted. But my dad also said that lots of things had changed, improved during the years he was working. There were just a lot of things you couldn't get away with like the overtly racist stuff and blatantly drinking on the job. Once the old school guys retired a lot of that stuff died out. One example off the top of my head though, one time a cops get a call to a house because a guy there is completely strung out on drugs and panicking. The cops show up and the guy completely freaks out and throws a mug at one of the cops and it happens to hit just right or wrong and slices one whole side of the cops face open. They bring him into custody, and the cops tell the firefighters to wait outside, and proceed to beat the living shit out of the guy in a locked room. Afterwards the fireman went in to clean him up, and he had broken bones and stuff. This was also in the same city in which the mayor was found guilty of burning a guy with cigarettes, while an off-duty cop held the guy down. I work in the city jail. A lot of people seem to love to abuse their power. The ones that get to me the most are people who mess with inmates with mental disabilities or disorders. It's one thing to play along with their delusions to keep them calm. It's another to lie to them and start shit cause you're bored and think it's funny. This is truly the most appalling thing I've seen. We all tell small white lies on occasion especially to those who try to abuse the way certain processes work. The clinic for example, they will attempt to go down around chow times in order to scam extra food. I will say okay let me call if it's not a serious issue and make a fake phone call and then tell the inmate they have a medical emergency they told me to call back in an hour. If they have a serious medical issue as in chest pains I will escort them. It's amazing how often they change their mind at that point. My inmates respect me because I give them respect. To begin with the amount changes depending on how much of an ass they are, but it can be gained back over time. 
They have seen me yell, they've seen me fight, they've seen me save a life. I will always make time for someone who is depressed and just needs an ear to get stuff of his chest. Basically I treat people like they should be treated as humans. My dad was a police officer in a little town in Texas from before I was born to about third grade. My mother was a dispatcher for the police department. I was the youngest of five girls. My sister, who was two years older, and I used to go to a family friend's house to pick strawberries in their backyard. They were an older couple whose kids had moved out of state, so they loved having kids around. The husband died from old age, so she was left alone. One night, when my mother was working the late shift, after 10pm, she went to work and saw multiple calls from the same number with no action slash help taken. She asked her supervisor what was going on, and they said it was a prank call. My mother looked more into it, and saw it was the same number as our older family friend. She sent multiple police officers to the house, including my dad, and they found her house broken into. She was raped and tied to a chair with the words whore written on her stomach in permanent marker. The police tried to cover the whole investigation up. Papers were lost, calls deleted. My parents quite the force and moved our family out of town shortly after. It was horrible. Over 20 years later, and I still remember that horrible police cover up. Thanks for watching up goat reddit. Try like and subscribe button if it still works.